There are several corollaries to the inscribed angle theorem. We're going to talk about three of them here. The first one is called the two inscribed angles, one arc corollary. That says that if two inscribed angles intercept the same arc, then they're going to be congruent. So here we have angle P intercepting arc JN, and angle Y also intercepting arc JN. That means that angle P and angle Y are congruent. This is really easy to prove because the measure of angle P is half the measure of arc JN. The measure of angle Y is half the measure of arc JN. So by the transitive property of equality, their measures are equal. So if the measures of two angles are equal, the angles are congruent. We also have the right angle corollary. An angle inscribed in a semicircle is a right angle. For that, we'll need a semicircle. Arc JPN is a semicircle, and that means that angle P inscribed in the semicircle is a right angle. Again, really easy to prove because angle P intercepts a semicircle. That means that angle P is half the measure of that semicircle, and half of 180 is 90. And finally, the inscribed quadrilateral corollary. This one says that the opposite angles of a quadrilateral inscribed in a circle, here we have quadrilateral J, A, P, N inscribed in circle C, and that means that angles J and P are supplementary, and angles A and N are supplementary. Now, I'm only going to show you how to do this with two angles, but you can do it with the other two as well, and it's really simple. Angle A is going to be half the measure of arc J and P. And angle N is going to be half the measure of arc JAP. Well, arc JNP plus arc JAP is the full circle, 360 degrees. So half of that is 180. So the measure of angle N plus the measure of angle A has to be 180. Hence, they are supplementary by definition. So let's try this. Let's find the measure of each numbered angle. Let's start with angle 1, because that's easy. Notice that we have a diameter, and so angle 1 is inscribed in a semicircle. Boom! It's 90 degrees by the right angle corollary. And now let's take a look at angle 2. I think that'll be the easiest. Notice that we don't know the measure of the arc that it intercepts. However, notice that the sides of angle 3 are congruent chords. Do you remember the theorem that says that congruent chords have congruent arcs? So that means that if the measure of this arc is 54, then the measure of this other arc is also 54 degrees. So this total arc has a measure of 108 degrees. The measure of angle 2 is half of that. So the measure of angle 2 is 54 degrees. And now you will notice that there is a quadrilateral here inscribed in this circle. That means that the opposite angles are supplementary. So angle 2 and angle 3 have to be supplementary by the inscribed quadrilateral corollary. 180 minus 54, 126. So that means that the measure of angle 3 is going to be 126 degrees. Obviously these corollaries are really easy to prove, that's why they're called corollaries, and they're easy to apply.